in today's video I thought I would run you through my favourite maternity clothes in my wardrobe and my tips on what to wear when you're pregnant. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Charlotte. I am 33 weeks pregnant today with our first baby. I'm having a boy and he's meant to be due on the 1st of April. So if you're also pregnant as well, let me know in the comments below if you know the sex of the baby that you're having and also your due dates. Now, all the clothes I've got to show to you today have at least one element in that are maternity clothing. I have also been wearing quite a lot of clothing that isn't, you know, maternity uh, specific because I do kind of like oversized styles. If you're a regular here on my channel, uh, you'll know that. But if you're not, I would also love if you subscribed, especially if you're also a mama to be as well because I'm going to be sharing my parenting journey when the little man gets out. So that being said, let's get stuck straight in. I have my rail of my outfits ready. I have categories of the different maternity clothes. I'm going to talk you through my favourites and show you some styling and some inspo of ways that you can wear maternity clothes during your pregnancy. I'm going to start off with a dress. Now I have here a maternity dress from Isabella Oliver who I'm pretty sure that they specialise in pregnancy clothing only. They're owned by the same brand as Bauction. So very minimal, a little bit scandy, really good quality clothing. This is really soft cotton. And as you will see with maternity dresses, we have obviously the additional material around the bump and it's all nice and ruched. Now this is just in a black cotton t-shirt. I also have a very similar style from Marks and Spencer. So they do similar dresses as well. So I'll leave some other alternatives linked in the description box below with all of the clothing that I'll be sharing with you today. And I just think they're just great base layers. This time of year, we're winter going in spring, um, I layer up with tights, I'll maybe wear a thermal vest underneath, but going in spring and summer as well, this will just look really amazing paired with flip flops. Now my favourite way to wear my dresses has been wearing with a leather blazer, my blazers from Arquette and a pair of boots that you'll see in the cutaways. But I think there's plenty of choices when it comes to dresses and being pregnant because at the moment I'm wearing a pretty lavish wrap dress. I just went up size, so this is a non-maternity dress. Another dress I have from Pretty Lavish that I love and I've worn so much over the past few months. Uh, you might have seen it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, it's at Charlotte Buttrick. I'm more active there every day with a little bit of style inspo and story, so make sure you go check me out there. But again, this is just a standard non-maternity dress. It is like a rib knit stretchy material, so obviously it accommodates stretch. If you're going to go for non-maternity, just look for anything that has stretch in it so it's going to adapt to your body. And again, I just went a size up just to make sure I had a little bit of extra room and like I mentioned, I do prefer my clothes being a little bit oversized anyway. I think they always look a little bit more expensive and effortless and you always feel comfortable that way as well. Maternity dresses out of the way. I'm next going to talk about skinny jeans. Uh, I have two different styles of jeans but we're going to start with skinny jeans. Now dependent on brand I would suggest, especially with the maternity sections, looking at the size guide because when I first got these jeans, this is the Marks and Spencer's Ivy Skinny over the bump jeans. Now you can get jeans that arrive under the bump or you can get these over the bump ones which have this stretchy band of like cotton material that goes over your bump. Personally I prefer to have a little bit of like bump support. I quite like the comfort of the band over the top. It can limit to you to what kind of tops you wear on top. So sometimes under the band's good if you just want to wear, you know, like a t-shirt with no lines underneath. Uh, but these are the Marks and Spencer's skinny jeans. Absolutely love them. They're exactly the same quality as the normal skinny jeans. But personally, I found I needed to size up. So these are a size 10 and I would normally be a size 8 uh, in my non-maternity M&S jeans. I got these in a size 8 first and they didn't fit, I couldn't even literally get them over my thighs but they are really comfortable when they're on, they've got a lot of stretch in them and a way that I like to wear skinny jeans um, is to pair it with an oversized jumper. The jumper that I'm wearing here is non-maternity again and I know I'll wear this after pregnancy as well, I think it's going to be great as well for maybe feeling a bit conscious around um, the midriff area uh, while your body gets back to normal and I picked that up from Zalando. Not sure there was many sizes left though, so I will leave some striped alternatives because I spent a lot of time searching for striped jumpers. 
sneakers the other night. I was just going to give a shout out to another pair of skinny jeans, ones that look pretty identical to be honest. Uh, they maybe don't feel as soft as the Marks and Spencers one but they've still got quite good stretch in them and these are from Pretty Little Things maternity range. Um, I would say these are more true to size because I've got a size 8 in these and they fit pretty much exactly the same as the M&S ones you will have seen in the cutaway and if you didn't know Pretty Little Thing and also Misguided have actually added quite a lot to their maternity collections um, and they're obviously quite affordable as well so if you're looking to try and save a bit of money because personally do you really want to spend loads of money on maternity clothes when you're not going to get loads of wear out of them? I mean you could save them for second and third pregnancies if you were planning on having more babies or I suppose like me I'm just going to wear some of my maternity clothing after pregnancy to still feel all comfortable and then once I no longer need them I'll probably sell them to be honest. The second style of maternity jeans that I have is more of a straight fit boyfriend pair and straight leg jeans are literally what I lived in pre-pregnancy. This pair also have a raw hem which is something that I really love in jeans. I think it just gives them a worn in, undone, effortless look and this pair is actually from Gap. I have a band on these again but it doesn't come up as high as the um, skinny jeans but fits really comfortably so the button kind of fits under the bump and this comes up slightly there so you feel like you've got a little bit of support in your bump. I have these in a size 27 I believe, no I don't that's a lie, I have these in a size 29, uh, pre-pregnancy I was like 26, 27 but I just thought because the M&S jeans came up small I'd go a bit bigger in these which I don't think I needed to doesn't really look too bad because they're meant to be kind of like a loose fitting pair of jeans anyway so they feel really comfortable but I feel like I would have been better uh, sticking true to size with the 27, maybe 28 but I still love these and like I say I love the wash on them. Gap are obviously known for their denim jeans, a little fact I used to work there when I was at university but with the straight leg jeans I've just been loving pairing it with a simple top. Now this is also from Gap, I think their range of pregnancy like maternity tops are really nice especially because like this ribbed one here we have a square neckline but also it doesn't have the ruching over the belly so I'll still be able to wear this post pregnancy it'll just be like a longer fitting top that goes over your crotch so it'll be flattering to wear with like leggings and skinny jeans again feels really soft made from cotton with a little bit of spandex in there for the stretch but feels lovely and soft and yeah I'll be able to wear this after my pregnancy as well so I do rate Gap's maternity range and they're all quite kind of basic staples that you'll get lots of wear out of with maternity clothes I would say maybe try to avoid any bold prints uh, because obviously people will notice more if you're wearing this over and over but if you go for basics no one's going to know if you've got the same top on with a different jacket every day. The jacket that I chose to style this look up with is a trench coat, one of my favourite coats for transitioning in spring. Next we're going to talk about tailored trousers, uh, personally I love tailored trousers paired down with Converse, uh, I think it's like a really kind of casual smart look but if you were looking for clothes that are suitable to wear to the office or for Zoom calls or like me you love a bit of tailoring I have two pairs of maternity pants to show you, the first is again from Isabella Oliver, I will say with their sizing I think they come up quite big, um, I've actually got a size down in these trousers because I'm in between sizes so I was between an 8 and a 10 before I was pregnant so these are like more on the side of size 8 uh, but I think their sizing is more labelled like 0 to 5 or something like that but you'll be able to check that out on the website and I have a pair of under the bump trousers so I'm 5 foot 8 so you can see in the cutaway where these come up to me lengthwise so they are slightly cropped not sure if they're meant to be but really nice soft stretchy material they have kind of like an expandable waistline inside if you'll see with some buttons there so you can make them a little bit tighter and as your bump gets bigger you can loosen them and personally with tailored trousers I prefer an under the bump fit I feel like wearing shirts over the top so say again if you're in an office environment um, I feel like they just sit nicer and the clothes look better with your tailored trousers being under the bump that being said, if you do prefer the over the bump styles for all types of trousers during your pregnancy, I also have a pretty similar pair from Next. The reason I haven't tried these on in the cutaway is because they're unfortunately too big for me. Again, these are a size 10, so me being in between sizes, an 8 and 10, the 10 are too big and I would have been better with the size 8. But the trousers look pretty much identical to the Isabella Oliver ones I showed you, except these don't have expandable elastic in the waist. They do look quite generous for the size, but we have this comfortable waistband lining there if you prefer to wear your trousers over the bump. 
as I'm filming the sun is starting to move around so hopefully the lighting's alright for you guys I'm just filming with the natural light making the most of hopefulness towards spring days here because it is actually minus four outside so it's pretty chilly uh, but paired with the tailored trousers I have a maternity shirt again I will wear this post pregnancy because I love an oversized poplin style shirt anyway I already have a few uh, and this pretty much doesn't look that different in terms of the styling to my non maternity shirts but obviously there's maybe a little bit more extra material over the belly but if like me you like the whole kind of oversized shirt vibe you will get your wear out of this after pregnancy or if not you'll be able to use it to sleep in so just ways that you can get more money out of your maternity clothes but this is pretty affordable it's actually from the pretty little thing maternity range i got a size 12 because i always like to size up in my shirts anyway so paired with the trousers i have popped on this shirt so again great for a workplace piece or you know zoom calls or if like me you love a shirt with tailored trousers maybe some trainers and then over the top i've just popped a h&m vest which is a pre-pregnancy buy it's not maternity it's just an oversized piece of knitwear and i love the vibe of kind of layering vests over a shirt and obviously the play on lengths because you have the shirt sticking out the bottom so i really love that look like i said great for the office great if you love a smart casual look just pair it with the trainers or in spring summer it'd be really nice with some flip-flops Next, an item of clothing. Most of us have probably been living in anyway because of lockdown. I have rediscovered a love for leggings in my wardrobe. Now I'm going to kick it off with a pair of sports leggings. Uh, so throughout my pregnancy I've been trying to stay active. I try and do probably only like a 10 to 20 minute um, exercise video five times a week pregnancy safe ones on YouTube and then also I walk my Lurcher Brody. Um, so having a pair of like leggings that you can work out in that are comfortable uh, rather than just wearing your pre-pregnancy leggings underneath your bump if you want a bit more support. There's a brand called Latched and they actually specialise in maternity workout wear and they also have like post-pregnancy support uh, trousers as well and I think they do bras and things like that but the stretching is absolutely amazing. We have Pockets on either side, so they're great for popping, say, your phone in uh, when you're going out for a walk. You just want to pop your phone in there. But I cannot stress how comfortable these are. The stretch in them is so good. I'm going to be wearing these post-pregnancy anyway because, as you can see, it's quite stretchy and I just think it'll just sit higher up afterwards and might like the support and the comfort over the belly. They are very much like a pair of cotton Gymshark leggings that I have, which I think is just why I love them so much. And look at that stretch. They're so comfortable. But I also like to dress these up for day wear because they're very minimal with the fact they only have a little logo on the side. So with these I've paired a maternity top from Misguided. And what I loved about this top is that it's a little bit more fitted. Uh, it doesn't look like a maternity top. Again, I'll be able to wear this post-pregnancy. It'll just be a little bit longer in the crotch. We have a lovely little v-neck. And again, it's that rib knit material. And over the top, I've just paired a long cardigan. So this is great. Cozy look for around the house, going out for daily walks, popping to the shops, doing some errands. I just think it looks really comfortable, but also really put together as well. And I've just thrown on my Converse because my ultimate favourite trainers, you will know that if you're a regular here. If you're after some more smart leggings, maybe leggings for going out in, when we can go out, depends when you're watching this video, or if like me, you like to just get a little bit dressed up to go and get your takeaway coffee on a weekend. I have two pairs of snazzy legging recommendations. The first pair I'm wearing in the cutaway and it is a faux leather pair of maternity leggings from New Look and a few people recommended these to me on Instagram when I said I was looking for some good fitting leather maternity leggings and we have a little over the bump bit and the ones I went for have faux leather at the front and then they're like a cotton at the back. These are so comfortable. Sizing wise I would say size up so if like me you're in between sizes go for the big size. The 10 are a lot more comfortable um, because the band has stretch in it but not as much stretch as not as much stretch as the like really comfortable over the waistbands that you get with the jeans so I just wanted obviously to have more stretch there as my belly gets bigger in the third trimester. Then if you're really into your vinyl I have a pair of vinyl leggings here which are from the Misguided range and I'm pretty sure the Pretty Little Thing do these as well. Now these have actually a really comfortable 
rather expandable waistline and again I got these in a size 8 uh, and I think they fit really well so the same as guided uh, maternity range is true to size. Paired with that I have another top from Gap so a really nice cotton maternity top which is long line so when you're wearing leggings I don't know about you but personally I prefer to wear a long length of an item of clothing that covers my crotch so whether this is like an oversized jumper, an oversized shirt, personally I just feel more comfortable having the tops of my thighs covered and any potential camel toe issues cannot be seen uh, but again a really nice soft cotton top uh, thin and lightweight so although it is like a high roll neck um, it's really thin stretchy cotton so a great layering piece as well for this time of year but you could take it into spring and uh, maybe even summer with you depends where you live and how cold it is we just have some ruching at the side but I think again I could get away with wearing this post maternity as just a long top to cover the crotch and over the top of that I paired an oversized blazer because one of the things in my wardrobe that's fit throughout my whole maternity that is not maternity is an oversized wardrobe so that's like I said where oversized fits are handy if you're pregnant and you already have quite a few big things in your wardrobe. <laughs> to mention some more maternity legging choices I would say next have some really good ones mine are all currently in the wash and um, Gap's leggings are nice as well they've got some nice kind of jogger fleecy style leggings which are really nice and warm again they come up big so size down and then I have got a pair of leggings from H&M which I really love and they're really comfortable on these are in a size small you can see how stretchy they are uh, they have a hem down the front of the leg if you'll be able to see that on camera and a little split hem at the bottom but when I wear these they actually leave lines on my legs so I don't know because they don't feel tight, it could just be the stitching on the inside of them. Uh, <laughs> I had a gyno appointment uh, to check because I had a polyp on my cervix. Got a long story short, I basically went to go and get it checked out and when I took my leggings off, um, the guy had a little laugh about the marks on my legs. I was like, oh, I think your pants are a little bit too tight. So although they're not tight and they feel comfortable, they do leave marks on my legs. I think it could just be the seam in them. But another pair of split leggings I've been loving wearing, but they're not maternity, are my Zara split head leggings, um, which I just wear underneath the bump. I actually have an IGTV styling video for these. No, a reel, sorry, actually, over on my Instagram. So if you want to see the way I'm wearing them go and check that out at the Charlotte Butt Trip and I thought while I'm filming this video I would just throw in a quick mention of the underwear that I've been loving while pregnant now for knickers I found that rather quickly my existing underwear was getting quite tight digging in leaving marks on my side of my hips and feeling uncomfortable so I actually went to Primark and I bought so many pairs of their seamless invisible knickers so I've got the hipsters I also have the thongs I'm actually saving these six pairs to pop into my hospital bag I will be filming also a uh, what I've packed in my hospital bag so if you want to see that make sure that you subscribe to my channel uh, but I just basically sized it up so like I said normally I'd be an 8 to 10 and I got mine in a 12 to 14 and these are so comfortable they've got so much stretch in them obviously being Primark really affordable so £5 for three pairs of knickers which I didn't think was too bad and then with bras I've been always opting for kind of the seamless style of bras I've got one on at the moment which is non-maternity actually I've just sized up I kept the band the same size but went up a cup size knowing that my boobs might get a little bit bigger and this one is actually from Marks and Spencers I believe uh, they do some really nice seamless range underwear but these were actually very kindly sent by Bravado and I have two bras which I'm pretty sure are from their maternity range the first being a very lovely kind of seamless padded cup bra which very much looks like a sports bra that's something else I've been finding that sports bra are really comfy alternatives to bras I don't think I've worn underwearing for a long time <laughs> and then they also sent me one of their feeding bras as well I'm pretty sure this is feeding bra which is more like a bikini style top really comfortable again seamless really nice soft material so I will leave uh, their site link below if you want to go and check out some of their maternity bra ranges to be perfectly honest I don't wear a bra in the day when I'm at home on my own working I'll just pop them on say for dog walking for a bit more support or at the weekend if I'm out and about because not everybody wants to see your nipples <laughs> If you are currently pregnant and struggling with what to wear, I hope you did find this video helpful and hopefully there's some maternity pieces in there that you know you'll get your wear out of post-pregnancy because like I said, nobody wants to spend the earth on a maternity wardrobe to not get much wear out of it 
and even at the moment to not even be seen in your clothes uh, but obviously if you were looking for any inspiration I hope this has helped you out and like I said I would love if you subscribed to my channel uh, and follow my little parenting journey with me I can't believe literally that there's seven weeks to go now I mean the crunch time is coming uh, I also have the nursery to finish off so when I finish the nursery I'll do a little nursery tour as well but if there's anything you want to see from me pregnancy wise um, or fashion wise because obviously I love my fashion then let me know in the comments below and I can uh, get that filmed for you and don't forget to subscribe and check me out on Instagram and I will see you in my next video thanks for watching guys